Hey, this is Katrina Kennedy. Today I want to talk to you about my Lightroom workflow. In the previous segment, we discussed importing photos into Lightroom, and the next step in my workflow is to uh, sort them and for the rejects and to select my photo of the day and to add keywords. This um, is a step I always try to do before I jump into the more fun step of editing my photos. So we're gonna start in the library mode and the library mode is going to be where Lightroom takes you after the import mode, it automatically goes there. But if you open up Lightroom um, after your import and um, wanna go back to your file, you can simply press G to get to the, to the library um, grid view and then select the date file that you were working on. Mine was 409, 2012. There are 30 files in it. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And there are a couple of things that you can see when you're in the library view that are going to be helpful to know. In the corner, you're going to see a little tag. That means that that photo has already been um, tagged. You've added a keyword to it. And the great thing about Lightroom is it has lots of little helps along the way. So you can actually hover over that and it tells you um, what that was for. So you know that that photo has keywords. And um, then I am going to want to um, select keywording over here. I'm going to have that up and ready because we're going to use that in a moment. If you're not in the library mode, you can, if you're in the develop mode or something else, want to come back to the library mode. You can just press a quick G on your keyboard and that will bring you back here. If you get into the mode and you, you know there's a shortcut but you can't recall it, you can press command forward slash and that's going to show you all of the shortcuts for this particular module. There are a lot of them. I don't use all of them but it's definitely nice to know that they're there in case you, you need to see them. All right, so let's go ahead and start the rejecting process. I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna try not to put a lot of thought into it. I'm gonna double click on my photo so that you can see it large. I'm gonna put one finger on the forward arrow, one on the X. The X is the reject key. And it doesn't delete, just flags. So all we're doing at this point is flagging so that we know what we're gonna do with the photos. So if I, a photo is gonna be a pick, um, I'm going to flag it as a keeper. I'm going to select the key P. So this is possibly um, a photo of the day. So I'm going to select it as a pic. So pressing P. The photos that, you know, they're okay. I don't love them. Um, I'm not going to delete them though. Uh, these are going to get keywords in a moment, but for now I'm not going to flag it as a pic or anything special. So I'm going to go ahead and move on through. Move on through. I'm going to try to do this really quickly. This is um, an a reject photo, so I'm going to give it an X for reject, X, some of these are going to be marginal. All right, so I've got two photos really close together. I know one of these is going to be my pick. In the film strip, I'm going to select um, the shift key and click to select both of them. Then I'm going to press C and that's going to compare. Now I'm going to be able to compare which one of these should I keep. Now I can also use my zoom key down here. I can get a little bit closer in. Let's see. And very, very quickly, you can see which one is going to be the pick. And so I can go ahead and flag this one as the keeper. I could use P as well, and that's going to show me. So I'm going to get press C to get out of there, and then I'm going to double click on the photo. Now you can see that I have picked it and that um, and we've not done anything with the next one. So I'm gonna go ahead back over to this one. And of course it's not giving me the view that I want. Don't you love that? All right, grid view, double click. Up here, you'll see I can make it the one to one ratio, one to five, let's see. I want it to fit. Don't want it to fill. There we go. All right, so roundabout way, sometimes it's frustrating. Of course it would be frustrating when I'm recording a video, but like you, I'm human. X, this is gonna be rejected. All right, these are not 
amazing, but we're not going to delete them. The, that is a reject, reject, reject. I'm sorry, Bunny, I've got to reject you. I was taking a photo, um, a macro photo, trying to open the hutch and keep her from jumping out all at the same time. Not easy and obviously did not produce great results here. So I'm going to press X to delete those. That one I'm going to keep. I'll keep her there. And that is a reject as well. So I've quickly flagged all of my reject photos and um, go back to the grid view. You can see that they are now um, a transparent view with that X flag in the corner as a reject. You can also see in the film strip view, they look similar and they have that flag. And if I wanted to get rid of all of them, I could press Command Delete. That's gonna select all of my flagged photos to delete. I can delete them from the disk. That means they're out of my Lightroom catalog and off my computer or I can simply remove them from my Lightroom catalog, but they're, they're still going to be on my computer. I am gonna select delete from disk and these will all be gone, um, out of my life, no longer to worry about. Of course, I'm going to keep them. I'm not gonna press that right now. I'm gonna keep them until the end of the month so that I can do my um, reject photo post and I can quickly, quickly find all of those photos at the end of the month and um, select the best of my worst sh to share with everybody. Uh, and then at the end of the month, I will delete them. All right, so I have two photos that I know I have flagged. I'm gonna go ahead and press the backslash and that's gonna give me my library filters up here. I can select the flag key. That's gonna show everything that I picked as a flag. I can then select compare, they're side by side. So which one? Um, is going to be my photo of the day. Once I make that decision about my photo of the day, then I'm gonna keyword it with POTD or and rather 365. And then I'll be able to quickly find all of my 365 photos at any time that I want to. So I could go ahead and select mine. I do try to do this fast, not put a ton of energy and effort into it since I'm doing it every day. But today I'm going to switch it up and I'm gonna ask you to select my photo of the day. Which one would you pick? Leave a comment um, on this post to tell me which one would be your selection. And um, I appreciate you helping me out in selecting my photo of the day. So um, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and press done. Lots of different ways to get out, but that is just one way. And um, then I can go ahead and see all of my photos again. Now I'm in a keyword and keywording goes fast as well. I'm going to see that my first photo is selected. Then I'm going to shift click so that I have all three of these photos selected in the library. You'll also see they're selected in the film strip below. But for now, I'm going to work in the, the, the library gallery. Then uh, I'm going to come over to the keywords and I can enter there or I can press Command K to open up the keyword area. I'm going to press a comma. Comma always separates the keywords so that I can add in my keyword. I'm going to add in onion. You'll see that I've already used it so it pops up there and I can press enter. Then that's going to enter that keyword and then another comma and I can um, type in bloom maybe select green. I can also select the keyword from the suggested keywords right here. I've used green before, so it's gonna go in right there. Press enter when I'm done. And now all of those keywords have been um, connected to those particular photos. You can, I'm gonna do that for the blueberries. You're gonna see a lot of these I've used before during the year, so they're going to pop up. I try to be, as descriptive as I can so that I can find photos quickly. I probably am over keywording compared to what many people need to do because I like to be able to find these for prompts in the future. So I'll be very, very descriptive. This is going to get green. It's going to get ladybug. It's going to get red. Um, it's going to get the word leaf so that I can um, be able to find it. Now, if one of these was a photo that I loved and I thought that would make a really good prompt in the future, um, let's say I want to have an insect or a bug prompt, I could put in here the word prompt and then I'll be able to filter later and quickly find prompt. If this was a person, I would put in their first name. Um, most often, if it was somebody who I needed a last name for as well, I could do that by simply leaving a space between their first and their last name because keywords are divided by the commas. And um, 
So that is going to take me through all of my photos. Again, I'm gonna be overly descriptive so that I can find them easily. Those are my two key uh, steps after import. I wanna flag them for reject, select my photo of the day, and then add in my keywords. There is more to do in the library module. It's a module I spend a lot of time in. We'll cover a few more things to do it do in this module in our next video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave me a comment in, about which of the photos would be my photo of the day, in your opinion. Thanks so much. Have a great day.